Hi guys, this is Avinash Sharma and in this session, we will discuss the materialized view in SQL Server. First of all, we talk about the normal view in SQL Server. So normal view, basically it's a like a virtual table or we can say it's a mirror, mirror of the data in physical table. In fact, view does not store any kind of data. It just contains the definition of the queries. So when you create the view, and you write that in that query. So when you run the view, so in fact, the query is being executed behind the scene and data is fetched from the physical table. If we check this diagram, in the left side, the first time when we create the view, so we view created and we can write the single query or multiple query, fetching the data from the single table or multiple table. Then the query are cached and later on, when the data is fetched through the view, the SQL queries gets executed and the data is fetched from the physical table. And this happens every time. SQL materialized view. When we create the normal view and then you uh, fetch the data through the view, then the data is fetched from the physical table every time. But in case of the materialized view, when you create the materialized view, the first time the result set of the metal view is stored in the database system. It means it is cached. And the subsequent call, when you fetch the data through metal view, the data is fetched from the cached system, not from the physical table. So the question is, how and when the data is refreshed if there is a change in the table? So, if like there is a change in the table, and the materialized view has been created from that table, then the refresh of the data happens automatically. Otherwise, you can configure that time, say 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and after a particular time, the data will be refreshed automatically. Where and why the materialized view is used? Generally, when there is a uh, static data, suppose the result of the school, we know like there is no change once the result has been created or generated by the system so there is no change in the result sets result of the students secondly the sales of the company for the previous year so there is no possibility of the change in the sales of the previous year so this kind of static data we can create the metalized view because when you create the metalized view the metalized view fast that data faster than the normal view because the data is coming from the cache system not the physical table and it also reduce the number of it on the database so sometimes it's better than the normal view now if we check the diagram in the left side we can see when the first time we create the view so metalized view and the SQL query then the result set is created and the cached in a database system and the subsequent call the data the result is coming from the, our cache system not from the physical table already we discussed how and the when the data is reversed from the physical table to the metalized view so the table we change the data uh, we change the data in the table and if the that table is included in the definition of the metalized view so that metal view is refreshed. Secondly, we discuss also we can configure the time for refreshing the data. Now we check the syntax difference between the normal view and the metal view. So as you can see, in case of the normal view, we simply write create view, view name and the query. But in case of the metal view, we write create then the keyword that is the metalized and the view name then the options build immediate and default immediate means suppose you want to create the result set of the view immediately then you can take this option otherwise default means after one refresh you want to create the result set then you can use this option then we have the commit or demand commit means say if there is change in a table and the data is committed that the refresh happens immediately in case of the commit and second with the demand so already we discussed we can put a condition here say timing or other condition so on the basis of that condition 
the refresh happens whenever the condition is met so this is the difference between the normal view and the metallized view so guys this was all about the difference between the normal view and the metallized view please like the video and subscribe the channel thanks for watching the video